So let's discuss the topic of induced electric field. Here we place a copper ring of radius r in a uniform external field, <coughs> which um, fills a cylinder of uh, cylindrical volume of radius r. Let's suppose that we increase the strength of this field by a steady rate. And when the magnetic flux through the uh, ring change at a steady rate uh, by Faraday's law, an induced uh, EMF and then an induced current will appear in the ring. And from uh, Lenz's law, we can deduce the direction of the induced current, which is counterclockwise here. So if there is a current in the copper ring, an electric field must be present along the ring because an electric field is needed to do the work of moving the conduction electrons. Moreover, the electric field must have been produced by the changing magnetic flux. So the induced electric field E is just as real as the electric field produced by Static charges. Either field will exert a force Q0 E on a charged particle. So, uh, this is very uh, useful information, and uh, we can uh, say that a changing magnetic field produces an electric field. So, the striking feature of this uh, statement is that the electric field is induced even if there is no copper ring. Thus, the electric field would appear even if the changing magnetic uh, field is in a vacuum. Here, for example, in this case, uh, the copper ring has been replaced by some hypothetical circular path of radius r. So we assume that the magnetic field B is increasing in magnitude at a constant rate dB over dt and the electric field induced at various points around the loop or around the circular path is tangent to the circle. So the circular path here in uh, is an electric field line so the uh, so it is uh, there is nothing special about the circle of radius r the electric field line is produced by the changing magnetic field and uh, here uh, the electric field lines uh, the set of these concentric field lines um, are produced by the changing magnetic field. As long as the magnetic field is changing with time, the electric field represent, is represented by the circular field lines. If the magnetic field remains constant with time, there will be no induced electric field and thus no electric field lines. If the magnetic field is decreasing with time at a constant rate, the electric lines still uh, be concentric circles. But now they will have the opposite uh, directions. And uh, here I didn't draw the uh, direction, but it, it will become opposite. For example, uh, yeah, if, it, if it is previously this direction, then it becomes opposite when we decrease the magnetic uh, field. So, now, uh, so a changing magnetic field uh, produces a electric field. So uh, now we can reformulate our Faraday's law and for that let's consider a particle of charge Q moving in a circular path uh, and the work done on uh, it during one uh, in one revolution by the induced electric field would be Here, uh, this E is the induced EMF, and that is the work done per unit charge in moving the test charge around the path. From other point of view, the work, if we remember, is equal to F dot dS. So, this equation will become Q naught E, the force on the charged particle, and the circumference of the circle here, which is dS. 
or you can say uh, 2 pi r is the distance over which the force acts. So um, by creating or by setting these two expressions for work, uh, we can deduce that E becomes equal to 2 pi r into E. Now, uh, now let's discuss this expression in a more generalized form. Uh, for the work done on a particle of charge q not moving along any closed path. So if it is moving along any closed path, then our integral in this expression becomes q not e dot ds. Uh, so the loop, uh, we know that uh, the loop on the Integral sign indicates that the integral is taken around the closed path. Now again, substituting the um, value of work, in this equation q naught becomes q naught e dot dx, and the induced emf is equal to e dot ds. So the integral reduces uh, again. We reduces. And uh, and it, this time this is for the closed path. Uh, so here, uh, if we uh, look into this um, expression, we can expand the meaning of induced AMF. Up to this point, induced. EMF has meant the work per unit charge done in maintaining current due to a changing magnetic flux or it has meant that the work done per unit charge on a charged particle that moves around a closed path in a changing magnetic flux. But when we look into this figure, we can say that uh, here that an induced emf can exist without the need of a current or a particle an induced emf is the sum via integration of quantities e dot ds around a closed path where e is the electric field induced by a changing magnetic flux and ds is the differential length vector along the path now if we combine um, this equation with Faraday law, we can write, we can rewrite Faraday law as E dot ds is equal to minus d phi d over dt induced emf is equal to change in rate of magnetic flux with this Faraday law. So this is the reformulation of um, Faraday's law and here the equation simply 